Young. Let's get back into the Trey Young, Nate McMillan dust. McMillan Ooh. said yesterday he would never tell a player not to show up for a game, which Young did last Friday. Young is saying this is a private matter. What we seem to be convinced of is that their relationship now feels strained. There was widespread talk that Young was instrumental in getting the previous Atlanta coach, Lloyd Pierce, fired. Wovon, where's this thing headed? <laughs> Tony, in the NBA, we know where it's headed. I mean, you and I have, you yeah. know, way too close yeah. to 100 years total of covering the NBA. And I remember when I was a young pup covering the NBA, and I'd say, Tony, they may have to trade this guy, you know, this young star, they may have to get rid of him. And you would look at me and say, what are you, an idiot? This league doesn't do that. This league gets That's rid right. of the coach. And, I, That's you know, right. of course, I came to know that very quickly. We know, sadly, where this is going. Like, I know Nate McMillan a little bit. Nate McMillan was a terrific player, a leader, a guy who played sort of above his innate physical abilities. I mean, I want Nate McMillan coaching my team. But we know what happens, Tone. Trey Young is a terrific player. He's helped lead on the court of team to a conference final already in his young career. I don't yeah. want to see it go that way. I want to see them get along. But, Tone, we know where it's going if they don't. Yeah, yeah. It's easier to get a good coach than a great player. It's as simple as that. He's been, Nate McMillan's been fired before. He's fired at Portland. He's fired at Indiana. He's a wonderful coach. But if yeah. Trey Young says it's him or me that has to go, it's going to be him who has to go. Let me let me just skip forward on something because Trey Young, if he fires two coaches in five years, he approaches LeBron territory. Nobody knows how many coaches LeBron has fired, but LeBron has rings. Trey Young has no rings. But let me ask you this, Mike: How many teams do you know where a the best player on the team is a small point guard that win championships? Isaiah Detroit and Pistons. Steph Curry. It's a very short list because Allen Iverson didn't, Chris Paul right. hasn't, um, Damian Lillard hasn't, John Stockton didn't. So you need some big guys there. I'm just want you know, history says it's hard to Good win point. when your best player is a small guard. Good point. Tony, uh, yes, you, historically, you just laid it out. The one thing is that they went out and got DeJounte Murray and they put him back there with Trey Young. They have a backward. And by the way, Atlanta is not floundering. They're in the playoff situation. They're in the top four, I think, still, even after whatever happened last night. So I, they built their team around Trey Young. They did. They Gotta went out and him. said, we prefer <laughs> you to Luka Doncic. And Dantas. it's justified. They did. We, it's, you know? Mike, it's justified. He leads the NBA in combined scoring and assists. It's justified. So yeah. it's, where does he want to take this? Where is he going to take it? Let's take but a by break. The way, by the way, by the way, wait, the, let me make one quick last point. One quick last point. It is a public matter, no. Trey. It's a public matter. It's a team. You go play in front of the public every night. Stop. And I hate these NBA excuses. It's a put. Please. It's public. Very. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.